right hand from Ahmed. Snaps the head back. And oh, what nice. a finish by Wilkinson. training I've been like much more focused I'm loving training again so I think it's paying off in my fights he is a big 205 and he used to be a middleweight somehow some way I don't know how he ever made it it's a big body he moves like a much smaller man and that's why he's got those finishes on his way maybe to a championship I don't think I've been more impressed by anybody in the PFL season than Rob Wilkinson honestly he knows exactly who he is he knows exactly why he's here he knows exactly what he's doing. You're an Aussie. I am. Hobart Tasmania is home, but this season you've been in Denver, Colorado training. How'd you choose Denver? I didn't want to travel back and forth from Australia. You know, you have to fight every seven, eight weeks with the PFL. It's about 25, 30 hours to get, get to Tasmania from here, so it's a long way. Australia, New Zealand, Anzac fighters have had a ton of success on the world stage at this point, right? Multiple world champions. No Tasmanians, though. Yeah, I'd say a first Tasmanian to win a world title for sure. Probably the highest level Tasmanian fighter I think there would have been, yeah. So you count for Aussie pride if you win a championship, yeah. but even more so for, for Tasmanian pride. Yeah, huge for Tasmania. It would be awesome to you know, be the first world champion from Tasmania. Three fights. Nice right oh. here. Three wins. Robert Wilkinson! Three finishes. Wilkinson pounding away with the right hand. Knockouts. You're a fight away from a million dollars in a world title. I want those fights. I want the big fights. I'm happy I'm fighting Amari. He's he's one of the bigger names in the PFL light heavyweight division. I want to be considered the best light heavyweight in the world, not just in the PFL or the UFC. I want to be that number one spot. Submission victory for five points and clinches himself a spot in the light heavyweight playoff. I will with the toughest opponent is every face. I want to choke him. Maybe. Round number three, four. In some trouble here, Omari Akhmedov is a high output fighter. I think 205 is the division for Omari. He doesn't have to exert himself, cutting weight and, and, and suffer like he was doing, you know, in, at, at 185. Akhmedov has been very, very impressive. He's very, very calm. He's cracking jokes all the time. He's in a great mood. I mean, he's clicking. Omari Akhmedov is clicking on a lot of cylinders and he has different ways to finish guys. He's a finisher. He can finish you stand up. He can finish you on the ground. He's tough. He's durable. And if you haven't seen Omari, you're in for a treat. My first opponent, he go to sleep. Dive down to the right oh, hand. Oh. Second opponent, sleep too. Mullis might go out. He's out. He's out. Unconscious. Hawkinson, sleep. I expect an amazing fight. Back and forth, you know, both guys can finish the fight at any given moment. So I'm excited. Wilkinson and Akhmedov is gonna be one of those fights where both guys come in really, really confident that they're gonna win. And they should both feel confident. 